Yep, it's happening again. Got a whole bunch of people on a wait list for my Wi-Fi RGB LED clock. So I am doing hybrid pick and placing again on these. Obviously there's a lot of repetition with all of the RGB LEDs and all of the caps. So it makes sense to do as much as I can on the pick and place machine. I've got this many more to go. Let's do some pick and placing. It's quite tricky to get in because it's not a panel. There's no edge rails at all. So getting it in without smearing the paste, be very careful. And I'm very lucky that the components sit in close enough from the edges that the pick and place machine can actually place these components down, otherwise I would have been in trouble. You're going to see right now that the pick and place machine is not optimised to use both heads at the same time. The main reason for that is the amount of time it's going to take me to optimise this file to do alternate pickups. Because there are so many components, I can probably get six boards made. So it's just not worth it. It's one of the things that's quite fiddly to do inside the software. So let's do a run now. It's going to place 75 components out of 85. That's a pretty good helping hand, I think. Here we go. And as you can see, that's come up pretty well. All of the components are in very good proximity to where they're supposed to be. I have stuck a few 0603 components on some 0805 pads, but overall that's pretty good. So it took me about half an hour to place all the parts in the correct file format that I needed for the machine and to go through and make sure all the orientations were correct and all the positions were correct. And then once that was done, as you saw in the pick and place run just then, we're talking about two or three minutes to build a board that would have normally taken me about half an hour or 40 minutes if I look at getting all of the components out and making sure they're all the right orientation and doing each set one at a time, especially the caps to make sure I've got the right ones in the right place. It's a massive time saver. The fact that I designed this board before I ever dreamed of having a pick and place machine meant that I didn't really optimize all the components in terms of the types of packages. So for instance, all of the caps that are underneath each RGB LED are 0805 0.1 microfarad caps, but over here I'm using a bunch of 0603 caps and resistors, but still using 0805 resistors over here. In hindsight, if I knew I was eventually going to have a pick and place machine with limited feeders, I would have standardized beforehand on very specific components to make sure I can place as many as possible without having to constantly load and unload different tape. But all in all, this is a, a pretty good success. So I just need to finish populating all these parts and this will be another board done. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. It really makes a big difference to the channel. Click the alarm bell if you haven't already to be notified when I have new videos coming out. To all my patrons, including the new ones I've picked up in the last few weeks, welcome. It's great to have you here. I really appreciate your generosity. If you want to back me on Patreon, please click the link down below in the description. I will catch you all next time. Bye.